how's it going everybody? Tim Kreitz here. Another Tim Kreitz adventure. I've got Cliff and Britt with me today and we're going to ride out to this really neat place out near uh, Horsehead Crossing on the Pecos River. A place called Fifi's Bridge. You're going to dig it, so stick around. subscribers and diehard subscribers to the Tim Kreitz Adventures channel will recognize this bridge when we get there because a lot of you know I make a significant portion of my living as a professional musician. I produce and play in two bands and one of those bands, Creed Fisher and the Redneck Nation, we shot one of our videos at this bridge, at this location, it was a song called You Should Have Been a Redneck. See these kids with their pants down low Think they're cool cause their underwear show Pull up your pants son, you should have been a redneck actually our highest performing non-release single in Texas. In other words, the song basically went viral and got popular in Texas on its own. We didn't give it to our management company or our radio promoter or anybody to help us raise awareness for it, to promote it. It was shot in standard definition by a friend of ours from California. Quite, quite a bit uh, more low budget than we thought it was going to be. We were expecting a high def bid, but it still became a very popular video. And actually, this is the first time that Brent and I have been out th to this bridge again since we filmed the video. Since then, by the way, you guys may also know that we've had another viral hit and several more hits on Texas radio, one of which on social media, across social media, has, has garnered like close to five million impressions. A song called, When You Come To Take Mine. And also we celebrated in January, spending several weeks in the top 50 best-selling country albums in the world on iTunes. So it's looking like 2015 could be the year that we blow up, fingers crossed. Like, cross real hard. You will recall, oh, Britt can't hear a damn thing I said. What? Okay, now, the last time we were out this way, we were on the southern end of the Castle Gap, and you guys all but f***ing laughed at me when I tried to have a historical conversation about it. <laughs> Where's King Mountain? I don't even know where the hell King Mountain is. Well, up there, you know the Castle Gap where we made that turn at 329? That little mountain is Castle Mountain and the big mountain is, is King Mountain. Is the, is the mountain so big that it stretches all the way this far south? That's my question. Who gives a f what you think? <laughs> <laughs> So the only re reason I stopped is because I'm actually going to take, try to take some decent pictures of the Castle Gap just so I'll have them. Okay. All right. So give me just a second. Another thing that is significant about this bridge is that it was actually the site of a pretty gruesome murder. Actually, not the murder itself, but after the murder occurred, this guy took the body of his girlfriend and buried her out there near the bridge. This was in the late 70s. Her name was Fifi Murphy, and she was the daughter of a very prominent family in Odessa, Texas. 
I'll let Britt tell that story when we get out to the bridge because he knows it better than I do. But it's quite a compelling story. Okay, we're almost to the old iron bridge and this old house right here has a cistern or it used to have a cistern and Britt I think wants to try to look at it. I don't I don't think we can get to it. I think that's it too, but we can't get to it. We can't go over the fence. It's trespassing. That's what a fence means. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Now you guys are about to see something you've never seen before in a Tim Kreitz Adventures video. Taking a sport bike onto a dirt road. But this is the only way to get to the bridge. Freaking Baker X Derek dual sport adventures on sport bikes. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cliff looked at me like, what the f is he doing? <laughs> That's all right. You all know what I'm doing. Let's go down to the riverside. You gonna shoot your pistol? Yep. This is the spot. Yeah. All right, so so tell the story. So who who was Fifi Murphy, uh, and what happened to she her? She was just a kid in high school. I think she went to the army. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like in '77 or '78. '78. '78. You know, her boyfriend murdered her, strangled her. I think. Mm -hmm. Brought her out here. Some say it was on prom night. I don't know. Out here, drug her across the bridge, buried her right there, pulled off all her jewelry, and threw it in the trees over there, like I said. And the way I know about this is a good friend of mine from Monahan's, his dad was in a metal detecting club, and they hired the club to come out and search for her jewelry over there. Which they found, right? They found some of it. Okay. I don't think they found all of it. And how long, I mean, was it a year later it was a when year. they... It was a year before they finally got him to confess. They knew he did it, but they couldn't prove it and he wouldn't confess. Now I got to get out of this Nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy, girl. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, so soft and slishy. What does slishy mean? That's not a word. I've got a million places we can go out here in West Texas that have stories. So I hope you guys are enjoying these little adventures. If you are, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. I would appreciate that more than I could say. I had a great time today. I hope you did too, and we'll see you guys on the next Moto Blog. Bye!